So are you trying to convince your friend to get into graffiti? Well, here's the video for you. How to convince your friend to get into graffiti. So you're probably sitting there wondering, UFO, I don't want to get my friend into graffiti. Well, yes, you do. Yes, you fucking do. And I'll tell you why. Because for one, it's fun. You'll get a lot of enjoyment out of it. It gets you out of the fucking house. That's one major fucking reason I fucking do it. And to be completely honest with you, I feel like a lot of males out there, especially, kind of already have somewhat of an interest in graffiti. So check Chances are your friends already into fucking graffiti anyway. But since this is a video on teaching you how to get your friends into graffiti, let's just fucking do that. First thing you want to do is get your friend to sniff one of your markers. That's right, get your fattest marker you got, the Sharpie Magnum, bloody Molotov, fucking anything you got, mate. Just fucking grab it and fucking take the cap off and be like, mate, have a fucking sniff of this and I'll smell that. And they'll be like, Whoa, oh, yeah. And then make them realize that every time they go tagging, they can smell that beautiful alcoholic smell or whatever the fuck they put in that shit to make that shit stain and you know what I'm saying? And that also goes for spray paint. Now I'll tell you what, there's some spray paints out there that I would literally wear as a fucking cologne if I could. And we're talking Aero Arts, even though that's a cheaper brand, fuck me, that smells good. Or we'll talk the more expensive stuff, the Montana. Good God, I'll get that up my nostril. So if that isn't enough to convince your friend to get into graffiti let's talk about the next thing and that is getting the amount of that graffiti writers get. Most of the time, if a person from the general public sees a graffiti writer in the street doing their thing, they always glance over the fact that they're surrounded by several chicks that just want to take it in the also known as graffiti groupies. Hopefully your friend will keep that in mind as he declines the graffiti endeavors. What the fuck are you talking about, cunt? The next thing to convince your friend is how cool it would be for him to have a criminal record and screwing up his potential future career plan as a CEO at Toys R Us. Or on the other hand, Cole Supermarket. Market. Little does your friend know you can actually make a bunch of money through graffiti by just racking stuff. Think of your future careers within graffiti. But if you're not into racking your supplies, I have the ultimate website for you. Introducing the Spray Vandals. They have everything you need for your graffiti endeavors, including spray paint, markers, mops, and they even provide free shipping within Australia when you spend $100 or more. They also have a great variety of magazines and literature for you guys to grab as well. Or if you can't make up your mind on what to get, the Spray Vandals gives you the option of buying a mystery box at whatever value you choose and who knows you may end up getting a UFO sticker in one of these boxes and not to mention if you buy anything you can simply use my discount code UFO and that'll make your order even cheaper 15% off on your entire order link is in the description below now that we got that out of the way I'm probably guessing that your friend isn't convinced yet and that's okay because I came prepared for this ask yourself this question is your friend full of confidence how's your self-esteem graffiti actually actually can boost their confidence. It could boost their self-esteem. I've actually seen it firsthand. Graffiti changes you. Graffiti changes you in such ways. Hopefully not negatively. What the fuck are you talking about, cunt? I'm sure you guys have other ideas. Put in the comments why people should do illegal graffiti. Of course, there's millions of other reasons not to do graffiti. We're trying to get positive on this stuff, all right? At the end of the day, you can't force your friend to get into graffiti. If it's not their thing, it's not their thing. Don't take this video seriously. What the fuck? This is a bit of a cop-out, but this video that I made years ago explains perfectly why some people do graffiti. Maybe that'll give your friend more of an idea as to why people do it, why you do it. Although graffiti is illegal, many people still do it even though they know the consequences of what could happen if they're caught doing it. People who are caught doing graffiti can be arrested, prosecuted, fined, and even sent to jail. So why do people do graffiti and what's the point of it? Some people do graffiti because they feel that their lives are a bit dull and boring without it. Some crave the rush of adrenaline in their daily lives. Hanging on a public place out wide in the open with the chances that any second they can get caught by the cops or something like that makes the heartbeat race. Another reason as to why people do graffiti is because they're marking the territory. This is less chance of a artistic way of graffiti but usually there's gangs or groups that do this to warn other or just actual gangs to stay out of that area. The last common reason is that graffiti is an outlet for people's artistic skill. Graffiti on open walls and buildings provide them an open canvas just for waiting to be painted on. Plastering your own masterpiece on an open wall and having tons of people see it each day can be a big deal in the graffiti scene. These are the few many reasons as to why people do graffiti. Now what's the point of graffiti you're wondering? I honestly don't think there's one exact answer to this question. The purpose of graffiti can be to tell a story. It can be to tell you a specific moment in time where everything either went bad or good. It can tell you about people, politics, culture, art, places and society in general. It can be to express yourself anonymously. It can be also just another act of vandalism. The act of graffiti is usually spontaneous although some 
some acts of graffiti are planned, more often than not graffiti is spontaneous. Graffiti you see on the walls of a bathroom stall or on the side of rundown buildings can purely be an act on the spot. So the purpose of those types can be totally different. Kind of cool to see how better the quality of my videos have got since 2021 to now. I know there's not much difference in terms of how I edit and record and whatnot. In fact, I still have the same microphone that I've had since like 2016, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and have a good one. Do you need graffiti supplies? Well, do I have the website for you? Introducing the Spray Vandals. They have everything you need for your graffiti endeavors, including spray paint, markers, mops, and they even provide free shipping within Australia when you spend $100 or more. They also have a great variety of magazines and literature for you guys to grab as well. Or if you can't make up your mind on what to get, the Spray Vandals gives you the option of buying a mystery box at whatever value you, you choose and who knows you may end up getting a UFO sticker in one of these boxes and not to mention if you buy anything you can simply use my discount code UFO and that'll make your order even cheaper 15% off on your entire order link is in the description below